our mission is a personal one. So my business partner, and I used to work in the meat business and we personally were on the front lines of the industry. And our feeling was we didn't want to support, in our view, a unsustainable way of feeding the planet. So we quit our jobs, grabbed our savings and started Holy Veggie on the belief that we can make the world a better place by getting more vegetables on your plate. We do a variety of different products. So we do a line of uh, vegetarian patties that look and taste just like veggies. We celebrate the vegetable. We don't do fake meat. Um, but we also are, do our newest line of products, which is buffalo cauliflower wings. So the same amazing thing you see in a restaurant, but even better in your home. And again, it's a real simple way to get vegetables in your diet. So these are full cauliflower florets that are coated in a gluten-free panko coating. And we do our own vegan dipping sauces, which are absolutely bomb. And so again, simple way, whether you want to pick up a holy veggie burger, holy veggie cauliflower wings, or we even do a, a new line of meals that we're super excited to launch in September at Expo East. We're all about just convenient, simple, good quality. Our core consumer is essentially a flexitarian. So someone looking to reduce meat in their diet on a weekly basis. And we quantify it as roughly 25% of the general population. But we skew heavily towards people who are on the overall wellness journey, who are a female, and who are looking fresh for simple ways each day, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, to add more veggies onto their plate. So we're in our third year. I would say we're past the early, early stage and more kind of your uh, transitioning to a, mid, a mid-sized company. We're coast to coast in Canada, um, and we're also launching nationwide with Target in the U.S. And you can also find us in California in Laysons, uh, Gelson's, Lazy Acres, and Bristol Farms. I think for us, we we had a, like a, a preconceived notion for what working in a startup was like, um, but we had no idea um, how demanding it would be physically, mentally, emotionally. It's a roller coaster every single day. And I think, you know, what gets us through it is that uh, my business partner and I, David, you know, we, we worked together before. We know kind of the ins and outs of each other and we help push each other on this mission that, you know, for us, this is bigger than just creating a plant-based food company. For us, this is how can we do something more positive and leave the planet a better place from which we entered. And that drives us through every day. And our analogy essentially is, you know, imagine being on a boat in a massive rainstorm, the waves are smashing around you, you can't see land, but we're telling the small little team around us, guys, don't worry, there's land on the other side. And our belief that will help make this a great company, a belief that will help make the planet a better place is what drives us to that end goal and destination. So we're looking for a partner, not just for growth capital for our company, because as you know, startups uh, very much need capital to invest into inventory, to invest in marketing, to invest in sales initiatives, but really a partner that can help open up doors for us. You know, we are a Canadian company. We're entering the U.S. Um, obviously, Canadians and Americans share a lot of values. Um, our love of food and plant-based food is one of them, but we don't understand kind of a full landscape of the U.S., so we're looking for a partner that really understands the retail market and the distributor market. And someone can help us accelerate our growth in the U.S. as we've done in Canada over the past three years. For us, you know, why you should invest in our company is because, you know, we're, we're not a company trying to make a build a company, a quick buck and sell it. We're for an investor who's looking for a mission oriented company who's looking to make a difference but also understands that you know, investing in companies that go after a white space and not just Me Too products is the ones that I think will help grow very quickly. And that's our focus. Our focus is looking at white space when it comes to plant-based snacking, appetizers, and meals. And we go after that white space and we focus on products that are convenient and offer great quality plant-based foods. Did you enjoy the video? For more from Nosh, Hit subscribe and ding the bell.